Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here and this is another little chatteroony. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So, um, well, <clears throat> got a busy day ahead of us today. So today for me is Saturday, but obviously you see this on a Sunday. So today we are all meeting up and I say all, that is a uh, Paul and Victoria with Harley and maybe Alfie. I think Alfie's with them. And there's me and Gary and Sophia and River and Mike and Tyler all <laughs> meeting up. Um, and maybe, maybe Michael's dad um, over a park. So that'll be nice. All the kids can play. And not really sure what's happening afterwards. So, um, you know, just keeping an open mind. Cheers. Got a cup of tea. Hmm. Actually, it's a bit hot. I only just made it. Excuse me. I need to get my little neck light and we'll have a look at, you know, your old when. This is best old folk jokes ever, but we're on the last section, which is called, you know, your old when. I've not got very much of this book left. I have to find the others. They're down there somewhere on my little shelf. Okay. Um... <clears throat> seen another one <laughs> i don't think it's today's but we'll see you know your old when <laughs> uh, you, oh actually i've actually seen another one your knees buckle but your belt won't <laughs> ain't that the truth sadly but i don't think that was exclusive to being a certain age for me that was just that was just life you know Spent most of my life battling weight and losing the battle, I think. Most of my life. And yesterday's one is still today's one. So we've got heads, which is perfect for me because I have a head collection, as I said yesterday, and Gary has a head collection. So that's a pretty good one for us. Okay. All chores are done. So today, um, it depends on what happens afterwards. I've um, been making some little mittens and I want to um, perhaps shoot a tutorial very soon for that before I can't. The trouble with me is I make something with an eye to do in the tutorial and then so much happens I forget what I've done. Although I did write it down and it is nice and straightforward so I don't think I'll forget but you know I want to strike why the iron's hot and so that they're identical when I make them because you don't want one bigger mitten than the other do you really so. But they are for baby and um, <clears throat> also if I finish some, um, I can actually give them to Charlotte to take home with her because they're for her. She's having a baby boy. Um, what was I going to tell you? Let me think. Still no word again on my chest of drawers, which, you know, the saga of that. I look bald. Do I look? I'm not bald. Look, here it is. I'm not bald, but I do kind of look, that's better. I don't look so bald now, but it's so tight on my head. It's kind of look like I was like, like, you know, bald. I'm not bald. I swear to God, not bald. Got too much hair, actually. Well, I say that. It just needs a little bit of thinning because it's just so um, bushy. I left my computer on. I don't normally do that because, um, well, I find that if I leave it on, um, it gives me too much light. So that is possibly why I feel like I've got, I think it's the lights here. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Might be a combination of them all, to be honest with you. So I have stopped the, uh, the sway and you'll be glad to know that if I move, it doesn't anymore. I could, that's a setting and all I had to do was press a trigger and it stops. So now I know that I won't be, I won't be kind of giving you all seasickness anymore. Just bear with me a sec. I just thought maybe if I cover up my computer screen, we'll see if that helps, shall we? I don't hold out a lot of hope. Oh, actually, that's not better. That's much better, I think, yeah. So that, yeah, no, <laughs> it's about the same. It's definitely the light. And I've, I put my little nebula on, although um, it does need it does need batteries. You can see it's actually a light in there, but um, yeah, it's a bit dim, and it's not got enough power to 
really move that stuff inside it is moving but it's very very small movements so i don't but the trouble is you have to unscrew the battery compartment to get new ones in which is a bit annoying and um i did have a little screwdriver in here but i can't find it so um i did i have a few of them they're for sunglasses really but they fit there nicely so um i've got one i know in one of my then maybe that drawer over there so i will i will get it done when i figure out where the batteries are as well so yeah organization it's one of my strongest points <clears throat> not yeah i know um so yeah i've got quite a few little um bits and pieces that i'm doing i'm gonna determine to do that blanket that i was doing while live streaming although i've kind of wound up the last of the mandala into a nice ball so uh, at least it won't get tangled and the next one um the next mandala that i use i'm putting on my yarn genie wool genie i don't know why they don't call it a yarn genie wool genie i'll put it on there and um then it won't happen again thank goodness but yeah it's a brilliant invention i absolutely love it and I have to say, I need to thank Sam from Memphis Makes because I saw it on her um, channel ages ago, but it didn't kind of click with me. I don't know why. And then I saw it again and or somebody mentioned it to me and I thought, you know what, maybe I'll try one. And now I will never look back. I will never look. That makes it look like I've got a really dirty hand. I don't know why. They're fine. They're not, they're not, I haven't been playing in the mud or anything. You're off. <laughs> Used to when I was a child. I was terrible for it. I was always messy. My mum used to, because I had curly hair and it was golden kind of red, you know, auburn. And she used to tease it into ringlets and make it very, very curly and put a nice big bow on and dress me in something very girly and frilly and lovely. And then I would just go out and play in the mud. And I'd come in just covered in either that or build a sand orange yeah i think my mum would have loved it if i was dainty <laughs> i was just this dainty little lady you know it didn't really work you know it's out there playing football with the boys in the frillies <laughs> playing in the mud and build a sand and bossing people around Sadly, I was that kid. Yeah, I was that one that bossed all the kids about. <laughs> don't know, don't know where I got that from. My mother, definitely my mother. It wouldn't be my dad. My dad was a very placid man. <laughs> he needed to be living with my mother. It would have been fireworks otherwise. They did have the odd occasion where um, things got to a certain extent. He put his foot down. And then we'd have plate smashing and stuff. <laughs> and then we'd get new plates. Yeah, my mum was quite volatile, really. Not with me. I was her baby. She was kind of, you know, doted on me. And so I was sport by my dad, sport by my mum, sport by my brother and my sister not so much. <laughs> she was like, oh, I've got to look after her. I don't look after her with a great roommate. Anyway, I was like an only child, really, because they left home. Um, there's a bit of an age difference and then they left home and it was just me but I always reached out to family you know like aunts and uncles because when my brother and sister were young they did all this family stuff you know have family Christmases around my nans and all that sort of thing and then when my nan passed away I was a baby I was kind of a toddler and all that kind of come to an end it, it dwindled you know but then I was old enough to appreciate that sort of lifestyle and it had all come to an end so I didn't get to experience it like they did and um so I was the one always writing to my aunts and uncles and trying to keep in touch with them and go to see them when I first met my my ex and we were mobile because we had a motorbike oh my god I can't I can't believe I was ever brave enough to be a pillion passenger on anybody's motorbike but you know you don't see danger when you're young do you it happens to other people not you and so we would bomb about and we'd go everywhere on that thing. And uh, <laughs> we never actually had one accident. So we were very uh, lucky on it. But yeah, when I look back, if I'm, when my kids would say, can I get a bike? I would say, you're not, you know. <laughs> and I would say, I'll smash it up if you do. 
take a sledgehammer to it you're not getting one and while well, it's insured i'll just get a new one then i'll take a sledgehammer to that one you're just not having one you know i was adamant that they weren't going to be vulnerable on a bike so you know what well, i actually put my parents through they must have worried about me every day on that thing but um they didn't threaten to smash it with a sledgehammer like i did you know look <laughs> see what i mean bit volatile like my mother sometimes no i wouldn't have let them have it doesn't matter if they were 18 19 20 oh they were not having it simple and it didn't help that one of our next door neighbors children who they'd all grown up grown up with and Paul was the same age and they worked together as well. He died on a motorbike. So that was the end of motorbikes in our family. It was never going to happen anyway before that. But, you know, once that was, I think that kind of cured them both of ever wanting it, really. So, uh, yeah, sad that was. Really, really sad. Anyway, that's enough of that. Goodness gracious, I don't know where that came from. Looking back, isn't it amazing? I can remember all these things from when I was a child, but remember what i was going to tell you yesterday Pfft, no absolutely not absolutely not um i don't know how long i've got to chat really because we are going out for 11. i got up really early this morning when i first opened my eyes and i looked at the time i went no just no i could get up and do my work and get all this done but you know what no and i i thought i've got a busy weekend ahead don't really need to get up early so um I got up and I thought, where's Gary? Couldn't find him anywhere. He was in the bath. So <laughs> no tea for me this morning. So, yeah. But he did make breakfast, so I let him off, you know. Just saying. Like being pampered sometimes. Um, We had a really nice dinner yesterday. He made kebabs, but he did them in a pit of bread because we have sort of sidelined the diet until after Easter. Well, you know been tucking into a few goodies just saying but not not over crazy you know but it is easter time of chocolate eggs i know that's not the real message of easter and you know the lord was put to death and was risen and yeah i know but it's also the time of chocolate and uh, don't get me wrong i don't normally partake i don't normally have eggs when every year gary will say do you want easter egg and i go no no and maybe we'll have a cream egg or something like that, or he always has one. And maybe I'll have a small one or something like that if I am really pushed to it. But usually I'll say no. In fact, when I was a child, my mum used to buy me a present at Easter because she begrudged paying for Easter eggs. They were overpriced then, you know. To be honest, back then, spending £5 on an Easter egg is probably like spending £50 on an Easter egg now. So, you know, they were ridiculous prices. And she said, I'm not. I'm not prepared to waste money on an Easter egg. So she would buy me a token Easter egg and then buy me a bike, which, you know, for the money was far more value. So she would buy me that or when I was very young, a doll's pram or, you know, something that I wanted. I'd get like a, a really good present instead. She was like, no, I'm not wasting money on those things. But she spent far more on the actual present than she ever would have done on an easter egg but i always had an easter present see i was sport rotten when i was a child um massively and i massively sport mine i did you know I, I kind of like grew up in that you know christmas is like a room full of presenting and so yeah i did spoil mine they always had whatever game console they wanted or computer if they wanted one and things like that you know i was i was, I was really indulgent and spoilt them rotten but you know my mum did it to me so I, it was just kind of how I how I was grown up really how I was grown up how I was brought up that's better <laughs> obviously not speaking the Queen's English it's in there somewhere cheers my dears it's now cooled down enough thank goodness for that nice cup of biscuit tea this morning I drink that 99.9% .9 of the time now. Hang on a sec. Put the fan on. I've got so much stuff, I don't know if it'll reach. Takes a while. Not that long. Is it on? Why are you not going on? Oh, I know. Press the wrong button. <laughs> I was pressing the button that makes it swivel. 
thankfully when it's not on it doesn't accept that command so i haven't got to like put up with it so yeah i'm going to be going out with this thing i've decided that it's not only good for recording because it puts me closer to the camera and a lot of people said that they find the resolution better and the picture better apart from the you know but um that setting is going to be brilliant for going out and say like today if i took it out and i want to take a video of the kids in the park i could say right follow that one and it would just follow them so i might have a little practice with that today and uh you never know i think i might have to free up some memory on my phone first before i do that but it does hold a camera but these ones are, are, are designed for smartphones and when this particular one that I'm recording on has got a better resolution than my actual camera it's like um, camera phones are amazing these days they really are so yeah um, I might have a little play with it today and see if I can um, do that and it's got a big selfie arm so if I wanted to I could like pull that right out and do like walk along and it will film but I'll try my best not to duck and weave because <laughs> that's um I know it was it was annoying to me so once I figured out I have to press the trigger once it stops doing it and if I want to do it again I just draw a picture like draw a square around myself and it will start tracking me but if I want to turn it off I just hit the trigger in it or I can touch the screen and it stops it so there's lots of different ways to do it and i'm learning this one funnily enough i'm learning this one so much more than i ever learned the old one but i think it's because the functionality is so much better and easier although it does an awful lot of things that i will never use like if i was walking along i could get it to do a slingshot so it would go tree all the way around like that and then center so it would be like a good intro to whatever it just kind of spiral in like that and I can there's so many things you can do I can do time lapse I can do um you know sort of sp speed demon I can do um hyper lapse so um if I wanted to show a flower opening I could do that amazing so yeah there's so many things that it does that I probably never touch but you never know never say never I always say but it'll be good for rock steady for going out and doing my my walks and things like that so i am hoping fingers crossed that um that it i use it every day now so it's not a waste of money even though i can't do tutorials on it and i've found a way of extending the downward motion but it still doesn't really extend it enough it will only if i were to do that it would probably film over there and my go go gadget arms wouldn't cope with that so i wouldn't be able to use it <coughs> so i'm just going to have to try and find more of the older ones and um, have them in reserve but i do have other rigs and things like that so it's not such a problem um what else i've got to tell you let me think um got a big dinner on sunday it's matt's birthday so gary's cooking a roast oh that's another reason the del diet got shelved <laughs> it was you know let's get easter out of the way and we've got a leg of lamb can't wait for that especially it won't be me cooking it that's the other bonus to it so yeah uh, once that's all over and the eggs are gone it will be we'll get back on to some kind of proper plan i need to lose some weight i don't i don't want to not i know that people say you just accept how you are now and that's it but no i don't want to be unhealthy i do want to try and um you know get healthier and a little slimmer so i'm going to get off and upload this one because i don't know how long i've got probably not very long at all um i haven't heard anything about my orders that i've paid for i haven't heard anything about the mandalas that they're waiting for but no doubt after easter all that will start coming through and um, i will get some new um yarn from the robin some new accessories and some old accessories from tulip and then hopefully the mandalas i can't wait so thank you for watching i will see you soon don't forget to watch out for my um my summer what did i call it tipsy rose scarf or you can make it into a shawl or a blanket 
or anything you like and that will be coming up I think it's Monday so um, I'm not sure that Monday would be a good idea because it's bank holiday here and hopefully people will be enjoying themselves so maybe I'll do it for Tuesday I don't know we'll have to see and I'll see you on the next one bye everyone